My name is Gianfranco Berardi, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I encourage curiosity and support creativity through my solo indie game development studio, GB Games LLC. This is the Freshly Squeezed Progress Report companion video to go with the Freshly Squeezed Progress Report blog post I published earlier this week. Check the link in the description below. In last week's report, I finished, for now, updating the temporary background art in The Dungeon Under My House, my second Freshly Squeezed Entertainment project. If you've been following along, you know that the dungeon under my house will be a non-violent, first-person dungeon crawler, and as a freshly squeezed entertainment project, it will be a polished, playable prototype that provides a complete entertainment experience. It will be freely available for desktop computers, as well as mobile devices, with no ads, no in-app purchases, and no personal data tracking. Up until now, navigation through the house was a clunky, yet instantaneous affair. You had to click to go to the whole house view, then click on the room you wanted to enter. This worked, but it wasn't very satisfying, and so, with a very few short hours, I managed to change how the rooms can be navigated. So, today, you can click on doorways or stairwells to navigate to adjacent rooms. I think it is more intuitive and also opens the way for the player to click on other objects in the scene to investigate and explore. Also, when changing rooms, there's a quick transition animation. It should feel more satisfying, and it helps con to convey to the player the information that they are in fact changing position from one room to another. I could stand to clean it up a bit, but it's a quick yet effective change that I think makes the game better. One thing I want to do is add a set of pre- and post-transition animations in which the player's party members walk to and from the doors and stairwells, probably much like how the characters bounce around in Monty Python. I also spent time sketching some thumbnails of scenes I'd like to explore in the dungeon. Some of the locations look like sewers, while others look like dirt tunnels, ventilation shafts, and utility pipelines. I look forward to investing more time into creating the dungeon, especially getting these sketches and ideas turned into in-game locations, because after all, you can't play a sketch. Well, thanks for watching, and stay curious. Now, if you want to learn when I release the dungeon under my house, or about future freshly squeezed entertainment games I'm creating, then sign up for the GB Games Curiosities newsletter and download full color player's guides to my existing and future games for free. Again, check the links in the description.